Well, we got a big show today. Wow. 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 Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Your 22nd favorite podcast is back with another episode. They swore that they'd try to bring you quality product this week, but they failed miserably. It's time for Balls Out with Ben Glees and Brett Hayes. Good afternoon. Welcome. Oh, welcome, 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 welcome. Hi. Got wow. some news cooking. News. It's cooking already, man. It's already in the fucking deep fryer. Got a clip I want to show you. I'm really You're hoping. Show me a clip? No, I'll play you a clip, I guess. Uh, I'm really hoping you haven't heard this yet. No, I have not heard that. No. <laughs> that wasn't the clip yet. Oh, was that wasn't? No. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, is that is it loud? No. Okay. It should be good. Mm-hmm. I think I tested. No, you're good. All right. God bless America. Have you heard this yet? I feel like I have. Damn it. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know. What did you think about the voice so far? It was all right. Very all op- right. Operatic. I feel like it's very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. This guy kills it. Oh. God bless America. My home, sweet home. Oh, oh. Voice of an angel. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Oh. <laughs> oh. Way to bring, way to bring oh. it home. Yeah, now we need this uh, music to. How? Well. <laughs> It was so good up until that point. I know. How do you butcher that? Just that last man. He should have felt it right in his in his. Uh, because if his you listen to the first home. Known. God bless America, <laughs> my home, sweet home. How does he not just do that? I think it needs to go. Yeah, he should have. America, my home, He's trying to go higher. America, fuck yes. <laughs> oh, man. He was about to get so many claps. Yeah, seriously. And then he only got like three or four. <laughs> fucking sad shit. God, he killed it. And he then killed now it, he's man. just going to be remembered as the guy who fucked up the word home. What's his name? I don't remember. Well, we should have him on the podcast. He's the God bless America guy. Oh, man. Uh... Do you have BuzzFeed articles? Do you want me to get to news? Dude, read one while I find my art. All right. Find your art? Yeah. You've got art for me to look at? No, it's just uh, I shortened down the word article to art. Ah. It really makes it a lot easier to say. Very not clever. (laughs) From WPRN, it's time for Channel 11 News with Buster Cummings. And Johnny uh, something Limber up here. On stretch. Don't forget to stretch. If yeah, they read right. about it, you'll hear about it. Oh, well, that's Hold the truth, on I'll tell to you. your butts. I'm holding on to Because it's bands. time. Here's the fucking news. Wow. I... Wow. Wow. The fuck was that? I don't know. Motorcycle? I think it was just a uh, motorcycle. That's how we do um, it on the farm. Since we're always great at news by starting out with news, I'm going to start off news with something else. Mindhunter, season two. Oh, shit. I finished it last night. Uh, Do you like it? The first half was freaking awesome, but yeah. the second half kind of uh, yeah. came to like I a agree. halt. I agree. But yeah, there was... Okay, so my girlfriend didn't really... She couldn't get into the first season as much. She thought it was kind of boring. Right. But the first half of this new season, there is so much shit going on. I know. And then, yeah, it just kind of peters out. Yeah, I like the first half of the season. I mean, the whole season was good, but... Yeah. Like, I don't know. Not really spoiler alert, but I feel like in the second half, they're like... All right, all right, we're going to get to this point. And then it's like, oh, man, well, you can't do this because you're going to make all these people pissed off. Yeah. And then Holden says one fucking sentence, and the guy's like, 
Okay, fine, but you better prove it to me this time. And that happens fucking four times within three or four episodes. And then how things end is kind of shitty. I'm getting real, real uh, perturbed by how slow this whole BTK killer thing is going. Dude, I don't know. I feel like they kicked it up a notch. They finally went They did, there. but they're still only showing one fucking one minute clip every episode. No, they had like a whole part of an episode I, there. I guess. I feel like it's going to... Fine. But... <laughs> so that's going right, to be next let's, season. Let's wait Manson, another though? season. Manson was great. Spoiler I didn't, alert. I didn't realize that that was the same guy that is in Once Upon a Time right. in Hollywood. Yeah, I remember back when news came out about him being in this, that it was going to be that same guy. Yeah. Totally forgot, though. It's crazy. He does look a lot like him. Yeah. It's sexy. Dude, he is so good. And I was telling my girl, I was like, he's the reason why he's sitting up on that chair is because he's so damn tiny. Yeah, he is. That he's trying to get like the power position on them. Mm-hmm. So he, he probably has be. a pretty big cack, though. Probably. Can you imagine if he, you know, he's probably banging all those chicks. There's oh, what? One other guy so. on the yeah, Tex. Spawn Ranch. Hey, yeah. I'm, my name's Tex. Yeah. yeah. God, that guy was so hot in the show. Yeah, he was. It's so weird watching Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and then watching that and seeing like the same characters in him. Right. Yeah. Totally looked different, though. That's true. Yeah. Still well, s- not Manson. Well, not Manson. But Tex. It, it was the same guy, Ben. We just discussed this. Tex was hot as hell in uh, Mindhunter. Oh, yeah, he was. Oh. I masturbated to that episode probably four times. Yeah, I really hope that Kemper stays a very like keeps a big role throughout the rest of the series. Yeah, me too. He's good. And I wonder if they're gonna have now. This is the same time as like Bundy and stuff is going on. What they have Ooh, going yeah. on right now. But yeah. I wonder if they're gonna keep it just to like the cases the guy that wrote the book dealt with. Right. I don't know. Or is, is this all based on? Is this how it actually all went down? I believe so. Oh, yeah. They figured out what serial killers were and stuff. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I that's like what that, that yeah, Mine Hunter book is about. Um, another serial killer topic you said we were going to talk about. The Hollywood uh, Ripper or something like that. Ashton Kutcher's girlfriend was killed by this dude. Oh, He sent me an article shit. for it or something. I totally forgot about Check that. Check out the big brains on Brata. What happened to you finding... Check out the big brain on Brad. You're a smart motherfucker. Man, That's right. What happened to you getting uh, those news articles? I found one. I thought you were going to read one first. No, hit started... me with that BuzzFeed, and then I'll get to... I'll find Ashton Kutcher while you're doing that. A Florida man has been arrested for allegedly performing a botched castration surgery on another man he met online through a fetish website for Unix, authorities ah. said Tuesday. Not the same story. Unix mean no peanut, no balls. I think it's no penis. <laughs> I've got no if he penis. Castrate, if he castr- mm. Let's get further in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let the story get um, talking. Gary, 74, has been charged with the second degree felony of practicing medicine without a license resulting in bodily injury, according to the Highlands County Sheriff's Office. According to an arrest report provided to BuzzFeed News, sheriff's deputies arrived at Van at Gary's house in Central Florida, Florida, of course, just before midnight on Sunday while responding to a 911 hang-up call. Uh, Quote, these are pretty routine, and deputies respond to many of them per shift. Unit calls? The sheriff, I guess, office said in a Facebook uh, post, but most of them don't make the cut (laughs) when it comes to (laughs) being memorable. Mm. Oh. Uh, phrasing. Okay. According to the arrest report, Gary told the deputies he had just removed the testicles of a man he'd met Ooh. on a website for those that have a fetish for castration. In Gary's guest bedroom, deputies found the 53-year-old man from the Tampa area holding a bloody towel on his groin. Uh. His testicles were in a jar by the side of the bed. Oh, God. Uh, another section of the house was set up as a makeshift surgical room, complete Ooh. with medical equipment and camera to record the procedure. Hot. Uh, the victim was flown to, t- to a Tampa hospital for life-saving measures and is currently in stable condition. The cops are now watching the tape. <sighs> and masturbating, too. <laughs> I know I would be. Scott Dressel, the, public, the public's information officer for the Highlands County Sheriff's Office, told BuzzFeed News 
He believed the man's testicles were taken to the hospital with him, but he was not aware if they had any or if they had been reattached. Um, I don't know if he would even want that, Dressel said. Yeah. Investigators said Gary told them that he and the man had met one week earlier and put tried- him on his chin. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Make him look like Peter Griffin. Oh. And tried to perform the procedure, but that the man had become aroused and ejaculated while Gary tried to sanitize his penis, meaning the surgery had to be delayed. Whoa. Wow. This is all. Mm. Wow, that's sexy. I just came. Uh, Gary was said to have uh, told the man he'd perform castrations on bulls and other animals while living on a farm in his youth. Oh. So why not this a human? This guy's 74 years old. Oh, I lived on a farm when I was a kid. Yeah. I can cut off balls all day. Yeah, I was doing it when I was 20. Haven't done it since, but... Oh, man. Oh, he was also said to have removed his own balls in 2012. Oh, my God. Um, I wonder if uh, when he was sanitizing his dick, he came, too. <coughs> Ooh. Or if it was just the other guy. I really hope this video is leaked. I don't. We gotta know. No, we, do. no, we, we have to know. No, we don't. There's another video of what I thought this story was going to be that Ooh. maybe you'll want to see, too. Oh, probably. Sign me up. Hashtag me, too. Oh, wow. Use, okay, yeah. You should cut that part out. Um, what? Shut up. Uh, using <laughs> painkillers he'd purchased online from England, as well as forceps and scalpels he'd, he'd acquired, Gary said he would began the pre- procedure on Sunday around 10 p.m. local time. But the victim's uncontrollable... That was very important. I know. But the victim's uncontrollable bleeding made it difficult for him to use suture material or stitches Uh. to try to close the wound. Um, Gary allegedly confessed to performing a similar operation with a similarly disastrous result several years ago in a motel, but he cannot recall the man's name. Oh, what's his name? Uh, Gary was arrested Monday and is now being held in jail on $250,000 bond. An attorney could not immediately be located. Dressel, the public information officer, told BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed News he could not recall a similar case in the area, of course. Everyone that I talked to that was on the scene, he said, was something they will never forget. Wow. Wow. Never forget. Hashtag never forget. Hashtag never forget. Hashtag 9-11. <sighs> Hashtag I'm fucking hard. Hashtag where were you? Hashtag right here, Ben. Ah. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Hashtag stupid ass question. <laughs> what are you looking for? Weren't you looking for something uh, earlier? You never helped me yes. out. No, I've got two things. So oh, I've got man. the Ashton Kutcher thing, but I got this other story that I was reminded <sighs> of. Wow. So look at you. See. Look at you. Um, 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 in one of the most extraordinary trials in German criminal history. Oh, hello. Here we go. That sounds very French. No. Nein. Nein. Uh, the self-confessed cannibal admitted that I he, like to eat people. <laughs> that he had met a 43-year-old Berlin engineer uh, after advertising on the inter- internet and chopped him up and eaten him. Uh, <laughs> this dude found this guy. So there's a guy put out an ad saying that if anybody wanted to eat him, they could. Like his dick or his butthole? No, just oh, him like in general. actually eat him. Yeah. Wow. A uh, guy took him up on it, and he they met. They they filled up the one. The one guy was uh, just tons of painkill on tons of painkillers. Mm-hmm. First, they cut off his dick. Yeah. They roasted it and they both ate it together Mm -hmm. and then as the guy bled out in the tub um and then died the other guy eventually slowly ate him wow yeah that's what i thought you were going to talk that reminds me there's an episode of it's called uh the show is called room 104 oh i thought you're gonna say like chopped or uh (laughs) hell's kitchen no (laughs) it's on hbo it's kind of like a yeah, no, I've Twilight I know Tony. What, it's the dudes that did another the Duplass brothers. Yeah, those ones. Yeah. Sure. I don't know what they did though. Was it Stranger Things? No, that's stuff for No. Yeah. But anyways, there's an episode where these two guys meet up in a hotel, pop a bunch of painkillers, cut each other's dicks off, and uh, want to start eating them. Isn't that like that's nasty. You know who Kenny the yo yo guy is? Kenny the yo yo guy. The no. the yo yo guy. He always went on shows and like Played the yo-yo. Did the yo-yo like really bad though? Free Beer and Hotlings oh! always talked about it. Like he would be on uh, morning news shows? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And he's also an actor um, on Better Call Saul, the okay. guy that drives the yellow Hummer. 
Ah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, him. He's in that episode. Ah. He's. I like that guy. He's so funny. All right. On to Ashton Kutcher. Oh, Ashton Kutcher, I already har- hardly know her. So, Michael <coughs> Gargiulo. Uh, oh, <laughs> sounds like a fucking Italian or Greek name. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Uh, The alleged serial killer charged with the deaths of two women, including Ashton Kutcher's ex-girlfriend, Kelso, was found guilty. Jackie was found guilty Mm. in three knife attacks Thursday. Uh, Gargiulo, Gargiulo, (laughs) who has been called the Hollywood Ripper. um, Rip. Rip. Oh, nice. uh, Was convicted of murdering... Ellerin and Maria Bruno. Oh, Maria. Wow. I'm stupid. Uh, in attempting to murder Michelle Murphy between 2001 and 2008. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, that's weird as hell. You, I didn't really get much information out of you there. <laughs> Kutcher, who was dating Ellerin at the time of her death, testified at the trial back in May. The actor said he had made plans with Ellerin the night she was killed. Uh, February 21st, 2001, and police believe he spoke with her not long before she was attacked from behind. <laughs> what a weird laugh. <laughs> behind. <laughs> but who? <sighs> she probably yelled out this. Find my butt plug. Uh, okay. Too soon. Too soon. Ooh, attacked from behind as she got out of the shower. <laughs> oh, mm. okay, this is not funny. Get prepared to get wet. Uh, she was wet, actually. Oh, God, allegedly Literally. stabbing her 47 times before fleeing the scene. With Damn. his, He stabbed her with his wiener. Oh, wow. Is she okay? <laughs> She's dead. Um, during this testimony, uh, Kutcher said he arrived at her home around 10.45 p.m. You think he was she, there to fuck? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, well, they were supposed to hang out and go out on a date. So uh, When she didn't answer the door, he assumed she'd bailed on their oh, date man. because he'd shown up late. Who bails on Ashton Kutcher? I don't know. 10.45, that's a pretty late date. Man, when, when you got cocaine up the wazoo? Like, unless you're just going out to get drinks... Then it's like three hours. That's fine. But if it was supposed to be like dinner and stuff. You don't know his fucking schedule. Jeez. Or that hers. is late as hell. Um, Maybe let's they got see. different like ways of doing things over there. Ah, listen to this creeper. So Kutcher added I'm that. I'm listening be- to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, pow, 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 pow. <laughs> Kutcher added that before he left, he peeked through the front window. <gasps> peek, peek. And saw what he thought. Was red wine spilled on the carpet? Red, red wine, you make me feel so fine. Keep me rocking all of the time. <laughs> all right. Uh, but the stain didn't alarm him at the time because he assumed it was left over from a house party she had hosted a few days prior. Jeez. Kutcher was informed, informed of Ellerin's death the following day. Wow. Ah! That sucks. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Wow, Ben. Too that soon. Was, that was pretty... Uh, you were laughing the whole time. I know. Pretty dire. David Dyer. A dire wolf? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at us just connecting words. <laughs> you want to know how a bride ruined her dress? Oh, are we back on this topic? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <sighs> yeah, what is with... we Lately, it's been brides. It's been 60-year-old men. Ben, you print these off. You Guys know that? Guys wanting to chop dicks off you, and eat them. You copy and paste these into a Word document. You know that? <sighs> That's true. Do you so, realize that you are the one that picks these topics? <laughs> Except well, you for had last some week. Good, yeah, 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 you brought some yeah. news finally. But, you know. Like, you know, 48 episodes in, you brought news twice. Every 20 episodes. Um, yes, exactly. Uh, speaking of episode 50... I think we should play trivia. Great idea. I don't think we're going to have Zane on. There was... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just going to move along past that. Uh-huh. Uh, Fuck Justin, though. Seriously. Illinois Justin had some good ideas. Oh, did he? Should I read them? Uh, special guest was a good idea. Hello. Uh, what Hi. else did he have? I don't know. I you- could read them. I literally have them right here. All right. But speaking of Reddit, a wedding planner just posted an epic disaster story on Reddit. 
and it's going to be a hard to top of this one. She says the bride was difficult, and before the, bri- the first dance and cake cutting, she disappeared. More like when- cock cutting. <laughs> yeah, seriously. When the wedding planner found her, there was a big issue. Quote, her ass. <laughs> she got a big ass. I wish, yeah. Oh, the bride had gambled on a fart and <laughs> lost in a big way. Oh, no. So it's literally bridesmaids. Seriously, exactly. Just not in the middle of the street, right? Yeah. Sorry. The street. Sorry. Been building up for a while. It's okay, Peter. Sorry. No, this is the wife. I'm sorry. Oh, Paula. I'm so sorry Paula. about this. Let's call her Paulette. Sorry. There we are. <laughs> oh. Uh, apparently, she'd been drinking health shakes to slim down for the wedding, then drink slim alcohol. Fast. Drink alcohol and ate a big breakfast that day. Mmm. Mm, cock. Yeah, that's right. You know what I say. What, Ben? Uh, no. Oh. oh, yeah. I can't wait to eat it. Mmm. Nice. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was. She was, uh, she ate a big breakfast that day. What came out of her, quote, was Butthole. slimy oily even with stringy bits and consistency of hair gel i came inside of her butthole that is some nasty shit uh, nasty do you think they shits. did anal i hope on so. the wedding night i hope after this shit i hope i hope they did i mean it's lubed up they had to have maybe she washed herself first i think yeah, eh, yeah we'll, we'll find out no nah, she was dirty all night long she there's stayed m- in it there's more what quote the smell was unrivaled and the shaper the bride wore what's a shaper is that something you wear underneath the, i think it makes you look less fat or is or is that like the top part of the dress before it like poofs i don't fucking know yeah I ain't no bride i'm gonna guess it's one of those less fat things i even no groom i'm gonna <laughs> die alone uh the shaper the bride wore was a latex deal that came down over the thighs Fuck and up yes. to her bra waterproof mm. The poo had just oh. sort of filled it. Oh, do you think she was Dude, in a pool fucking full gross. of poo up to her neck? <sighs> and then somebody puked in their hand and was going to throw, throw it at, it at her? Yeah. And then, Do you think she ducked before? I don't know. I wouldn't. The poo didn't sound good. You know what it sounded like? A fight over feces. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Can you imagine being like a oh. tight latex suit and then you shit and it just kind of just gets filled? Ugh. You're turning me on This now. is really gross. Are there fetish sites for that, you think? Probably. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, latex I mean, two fucks. girls, one cup. Yeah. Uh, the planner and her staff tried to clean the bride up, but she had a brown streak down the back of her $15,000 dress. She had too many folds to clean under. <laughs> Which the groom touched during his, the first day. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Well, okay, at this point, why don't you just take the dress off? Hope you got oh. good pictures before the wedding. Yeah. And then, you know, just wear something. I... Get one of the bridesmaids' dresses, put it on, and no. why are you going to wear a shit-covered dress? Well, like during your first know, dance, ben? and I don't know. Just I, for the I photos. To ask. Can you imagine? Okay, so photos. <sighs> I'm imagining it, and it's they're nasty. dancing. You the the camera ladies making sure not to get the shit the shit streak on the back mm. in any of the photos. Okay, and mad. then all of a sudden, one of the photos is the guy, the groom, yeah. looking at his hand, all disgusted because oh, there's poop all over fuck it. Fuck yes. Oh. Oh, no, or he's going underneath the thing to get her garter on oh. top her leg, and it's all and he brown. Just, he just sees that latex yeah. just filled with mm. feces. Oh, my God. This is the hardest I've ever been during a podcast. Once he figured out what happened, he asked if they could cancel the garter toss. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, my God. She's uh, like, no, because, no, we're still doing it. It's tradition. Because he didn't want to reach under the dress to get it. Reach. So they, he didn't want to shove his face. Okay, up so there. basically they tried to clean her up, but it sounded like they did not do a good job. Where are they from? Kentucky? Fucking idiots. <laughs> um, doesn't say. Did you? Uh... Yeah. Okay. All right. Hit me. What did Justin have for um, ideas for episode fifty? Do a special guest. Bring in a new guest. Try to get one of the new comics that you've done shows with. You Ben. I haven't done any shows well, with any comics because I'm not a comic. Yeah. So. Um, then he says five minutes. You're pretty funny. I know I am. Five minutes with huge. Five minutes with hey Marcus. I don't know if that would happen. Hey Marcus. Um, where is she now? Segment with Bethany. That won't happen either. I can't. I think she got. Gross. 
I like I love cats. You think she got? I don't. Uh, she probably caught wind of what happened when I was still on the radio doing those segments. Oh, I doubt she really cared. Uh, try to get Maitland. That was, that was a random. Yeah, we don't really talk to Maitland, honestly. That was weird. Yeah, it was. Uh, do your mystery science theater thing. But we, we have to wait, wait until, until Big out. Shark comes out, which I still can't wait for. We're gonna drink during that one and oh, just have yeah. fun. Drink and smoke and do blow, probably mushrooms. Like, yeah. I guess still got to do mushrooms. <gasps> I'm doing that this weekend. You are? Yeah. We should going on a camping trip. I'm we probably say. shouldn't record a podcast first time on my mushrooms, should we? Well, it'd be great. <laughs> be a great idea i'd you'd, just be worried about you fucking no me. you'd be laughing the whole time it'd be a good time dude <laughs> it'd probably be all like unusable oh definitely and we'd probably do <laughs> at least three or four hours worth of audio and we right. wouldn't have hit record yeah exactly would have forgotten <laughs> um, or like half hour in my zoom just ran uh, out of battery uh, and so <laughs> you should hit like oh never mind is it plugged in is that what yes okay uh, but, 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 but what's next? Cost money, but get Michael Rappaport cameo shout out. He will call you fuck you and other roasting, and then do a roast me on Reddit for Brett. Oh, that was the good idea. Why just me? Why not? No, you I know. Too? We'll do me too. I'm too afraid to do that shit. Really? Come on. People are gonna hurt my feelings, dude. Ah, uh, don't get butt hurt now. <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> okay, I'm in. It'll be fun, like uh, the beautiful people dot com. What episode is this? Uh, Forty eight. So, so we'll have weeks. to do it like next week. By next week, we'll have to throw it out there. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Uh, what is there like just a subreddit called Roast Me? Yeah. Okay. And then you you take a selfie with a piece of paper that just yeah. says Roast Me. Mm-hmm. And then you put some sort of clever title. Okay. And then. My title would be Roast Me. <laughs> Away uh, people go. Yeah. I'd, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I've got some good news. You got for, a good uh, news, Kenny in Nashville. Kenny, does Kenny listen anymore? Oh yeah, does he? Yes. Are you sure? You want to know what this? Okay, Kenny never randomly Facebook messages me anymore. Maybe he will after today. Do you know what kind of music Kenny, Kenny do it? Kenny likes. I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm really lonely, Kenny. <laughs> what? What? Do you know Nashville? what kind of? kind of music kenny likes music no what kind uh, like metal. what genre you are correct yeah i know i i'm friends with him on the f book go ahead crank that motorhead it's good for you what are you doing fucking justin rhymes over here a psycho i say <laughs> a psychology professor by the name of nick perham huh, says that if you're a metal fan kenny right. Your music is actually good for your mental health. Oh, no. And it does not make you violent or angry. Bull. (laughs) Kenny is the most violent and angry person I've ever met on the internet. (laughs) I'm just kidding, Kenny. No, Kenny's just a (laughs) fan of him. Uh. Purim says, quote, recently published research has shown that fans do not become sensitized. Desensitized? No, it just says sensitized to violence. Uh, Indeed, studies have shown long-term fans were happier in their youth and better adjusted in middle age compared to their non-fan counterparts. Wow. Also, metal fans who listen while they're angry don't get angrier. They feel more positive, which Hmm. suggests the music is, quote, a healthy and functional way of processing anger. I think you could say that about any type of music that people listen to. Uh Ah! Oh, um, if it puts you in a good mood, it puts you in a good mood. Who cares? Well, yeah, I guess yeah. If it puts, Jeez. if it's stuff you like, yeah. But if I'm gonna, if I'm angry and I'm gonna hear shit that I don't want to hear, well, then don't listen to something you don't want to listen to. Yeah, Jeez. like uh, pick out your own fucking playlist. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Some people these days, am I right, Kenny? <laughs> yeah. One more thing metal can do for you is promote scientific thinking. I doubt that. I mean, Science. oh well, no. Uh, well, I guess they're not Tool? metal. They're more like rap, but uh, Tool? you know how do magnets work? I wonder if what did you just say? How do, magne- you mean? how do magnets work? Who told you how to magnet work? Uh, I don't know. They're magic. Who? I wonder if there's metal bands that have questions like that. Well, you got questions. I got answers. Uh huh. <laughs> do you know how magnets work? Yes, of course. But this isn't an explain. But this is well not. You just a started reading again of the music itself. Perm says that. 
when headbangers have to defend their music against accusations that it's harmful or evil, as they often do, it can sharpen the tools they need to stab, uh, to argue a position logically. Wow. There Kenny, you go, Kenny. Kenny, can you verify all of this stuff? Like that uh, article says, crank that motorhead. <sighs> wow. You're quoting the articles now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What you got for me, motherfucker? I've been searching. I thought you, you, you just had, had the one. one. Oh, okay. I was going to say. I just can't find it now. <sighs> ben? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Do you oh. have any other ideas for uh, episode 50? Oh, uh, no. I'm definitely not an idea kind of guy. Trivia. Oh, roast yeah. me. Special guest. Um, I think Who should we try to get for trivia? Should we just have people reach out to us? I think we should get Max. Yeah, that is true. That's what I was thinking too. And a Max Abura. Um, what else? Like, I don't know. What if we were to get him to play against his wife Fandy? Oh yeah. Instead of them playing either how, one of okay, us. Okay, how are we gonna make that phone situation work though? Ah, uh, true. Unless we conference them in and. Or just put them both on speaker. I guess that could work. Or conference them in. Whatever, man. <laughs> we'll figure it out. No, we won't. No, we won't. Um, yeah, I can't really find what I was looking for, Ben. Yeah, I've so, been trying to talk amongst myself I until know. you found I'm it. I'm trying uh, to talk. Do you remember you? what it was about? Uh, no. <laughs> of course not. No, it was just, you know, whatever. <laughs> Why don't you read what you got there, buddy? Uh, what? Okay. Uh, this one's called A Canadian Professor Was Fired for His Demands. Ooh. It wasn't in the form of a question, but I made it, so. <laughs> I thought you hated questions. I love them. Well, I hate answers. Oh, God. There's a guy named Shimal Fernandopoli, who was a professor at Cape Breton University in Nova Scotia. I thought they were going to. Canada. I thought you were saying, oh, God, because this guy's name was like Brett or something. No, I just can't read it. It's long. Check out the big brain on Brad. You're a smart hmm. motherfucker. That's that is the biggest penis I have ever seen. Oh, mine too. Thank you. Um, what? But he was just fired after a student complained that he told her he would give her better grades if she had sex with him or Ooh. gave him moose meat. Okay. Wait, what? Is that a uh, innuendo? I don't know. Let's see, Ben. Moose meat. She said no to the sex, but did bring him some moose meat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But once she handed it over, he really started pushing for sex. I want to call this episode Moose Meat. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> wait, wait, go back, read that last sentence over. Uh, she said no to sex, but did bring him some moose meat. Well, yeah, I heard that one. <laughs> Not the one after that. Oh, uh, but, but once she handed it over, he... What the fuck? I just... I just... <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. Uh, but once she, did I, what? But once she handed it over, he really started pushing for sex. The next day, she complained, and another student who had the same experience also corroborated the story. Shamal was fired immediately. Uh, I wonder if the other student brought him meat. Yeah, seriously. Well, that's a weird trade-off, but whatever, whatever works for you. Thanks for the moose meat. I'm gonna eat it mm. now. How about you eat my moose meat? <laughs> okay, uh, my mm. Shamal meat. That makes me. Horny, because they got antlers. Horn antlers. Because <laughs> they got whole antlers. That didn't work out so well. Next story, bed. Cops bust six people for getting it on in a field. Did you ever? Oh, wow. Okay, what's the strangest place you've had sex? Mm. Lake Huron, on the beach. Oh, I was gonna say in the lake. No. How was that? How was sex? It was good. Beach? It was at nighttime though, so I was like comfortable. Were you like down uh where like the water comes up or came oh, up above earlier, that. so it was kind of wet? Above that. And there was already too much wetness going on. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. If you catch uh, my drift. <laughs> yeah. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. Oh, I am. Yeah. Now you answer but your question. But usually uh when you hear about people doing having sex on the beach, they always say it's terrible. Oh, it was Don't do it. It was very sandy. We laid down a blanket. Is that what first. her name was? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you put a blanket down? Yeah. Oh, you're supposed to just roll around in the sand. No. That's how you do it. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> I guess another place would be 
in a car, in the back of a car at the yeah. end of a fucking dead end street. I've done that a lot. You, you should try watching me have sex in the back of a small car. It's great. I can imagine Being six, just seven. your super long legs oh my God. just all awkwardly everywhere. That's how you rip condoms right there. <laughs> Hashtag true story. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, my oh, weirdest yeah. place. <laughs> uh, in a family member's house mm. in the bathroom during a party. Oh, Where people... Hi, Mom. In? Were people getting it on? Boogie? Uh, no, people were... Uh, Say hi to your mother for me, okay? Were they getting down? Yes, they were. They were hey, partying? This wasn't oh, after oh, the party? Oh, you guys know me? No, it was oh, during okay. the party. Thank All you. right, next... Uh, Thanks for that delayed oh, response. Oh, yeah, the field. Wow. Back oh my to the God. field. Yeah, seriously. The, the field of dreams. Oh, wow, here we go. Ah, another episode title. <laughs> <laughs> the police in Fairfield, Connecticut... Made a bunch of arrests last week in an 87-acre field that's a nor- notorious spot where strangers meet up to fuck. Yeah. And these weren't just any strangers. The They were old, ooh, old strangers. <laughs> mm. The cops made six... Wait, like... Ah. Uh, oh, oh. I get what you're saying. No, like I'm old. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Duh. Old. Yeah, we've the, been talking about old people lately. Yeah. Why not talk about them some more? Yeah, it's like you printed this off. The cops made six arrests for people getting it on in the field. And their ages, Ben, were 62, 62, 67, 75, 82, and 85. Man, That's old. <laughs> that's a lot of grilled cheese all in one place. It's like triple my age. Seriously. Something like that. Mm. Damn. The only woman in the bunch. Uh, whoa. Oh, the, <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that's just like a. Why was that left go. out uh, until yeah. now? Um, that's a uh, very important let's detail. Try that again. The only woman in the bunch was the 85 year old. So the oh. oldest. <laughs> It was the only, it was the oldest one there. So all these guys are in their 60s and they're fucking an 85 year old? Yeah, it looks like that's hot. Ugh. What would she be? Not a cougar. No, just a gilf. No. Major cougar here. Um, and she has the last name as the 82 year old man, although we don't know if they were married. Let's hope they're not that's brother a and great, sister. Great story. Anyway, all of them were charged with breach of peace, and some were also charged with public indecency. Free the Fairfield Six. The men were charged with breach of holes. Well, just the the one or the few holes on the woman, Ooh. on the one woman. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's cool. Good God. Okay. Do you think you'll ever you'll be as adventurous as that? Oh, when no. you're in your sixties, definitely not. Yeah, I mean, either sex is too hard right now. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> If only I could get it. Pale. Taylor. Ah, uh, Brittany. <sighs> no. <laughs> Ben's roommate. Uh, oh, this one's called Read Receipts. Whoa! Yes. Mm, here's a very modern dating dilemma you probably never even considered, Ben. <laughs> I'm interested to see what your thoughts are on this one. But, Ben, I haven't even read the story yet. No, I know. But have you <sighs> read the read receipts? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, huh. not funny. All right, here's oh, I already read that sentence. A 33 year old guy named Brett Ben from New York went on a first date recently, and after way that afterward, the dude uh, he oh wow, this is gay. <laughs> Mr. Hayes, Leon Hendricks, News Eight. <laughs> Literally, it is. Um, and afterward, the dude he went out with asked him to turn on read receipts for his text. That lets the other person see when you read their text. It's not quite like stalking, more like I want to be able to see if you've read my text and not responded. But the consensus online is that the request is a huge red flag. I am a homosexual. Basically a deal breaker. Really? I mean, I'm gay. That's what it says. A deal breaker? Would that be a deal breaker? Deal deal breaker. Deal breaker for you? No, but I would be kind of like... Would you ask the person... Would you ask the person to turn them on? No. Because I don't really care. Would you ask them to turn you on? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I wouldn't care either. I think I would just get, I would get too, like, antsy. Like, I'd sit there and wait to see if the person is texting me back. Or yeah, if they exactly. Are texting me back or if they've or read if, it. That's the worst thing is uh, seeing that they read it and then not hearing from them for yeah. hours maybe yeah. until the next day. that happens day. with me every Wednesday when I text you at 6.20 when I'm here. <laughs> I'm like, okay, he hasn't read my uh, text that I sent him two hours ago saying that I'll be there at 6.20. Yeah. So I wonder if he's sleeping, then I'll call you and you'll be like, what? I'm like, dude, I'm here, and you're like, I'm coming. <laughs> 
That's a good impression. Okay, I, you turn your read receipts off, Ben. Turn it off. Oh, they're on for you? No, yeah, like I can see when you read my shit. Ah, oh, well, fuck that. I don't want that I happening. I told you that like 40 episodes ago, dude. Ah, damn it. All right. God. But yeah, you definitely, I think having them off is the best way no, to go. Ben, I need you to keep them on for me. Oh, no, you said literally for the interest just of now this podcast. to take them off. Nope. I was going to see if you'd listen. <sighs> Send red receipts, son of a bitch. They were on. I told you. Gosh, dang it. Now all your friends are going to be like, what? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Why weren't they on for me? Uh, That's what my mom's going to say, too. <sighs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. She doesn't have a an iPhone. She well, has you a bring her into this. poverty phone. So oh. green text bubbles. Blech. Wow. <laughs> I want to meet this woman. <laughs> Stop being poor. <laughs> Get an iPhone. Quit picking on your mom, dude. All She's right. a good lady. Speaking of moms, there's a mom that licked her daughter's ice cream cone. That is not sexual innuendo. Mm. What kind of ice cream was it? <laughs> I, will t- I will tell you. It's chocolate or mm. vanilla? Mint chocolate chip. What's a- your favorite kind? Mint chocolate chip. Okay. <laughs> Me too. I get gelato nowadays, though. Oh, you're getting gelato. Mediterranean mint Mediterranean? Gelato. Not yeah, Mediterranean? Whatever. Mediterranean. Yeah. Mediterranean? Yeah. Or Mediterranean? Just like Caribbean mm. or Caribbean. Or Same Car- thing. Caribbean? Potato. 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 Tomato. 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 Potato. 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 Yeah. Puh. Puss. Potato. Puss. So, a woman named Sydney from Milledgeville... Georgia oh, posted a story. She's from Sydney. <laughs> she, her name is Sydney. Uh, posted a story on her Facebook page earlier this week about an incident with her four-year-old daughter. I feel like the daughter would be posting about this. The mom's the one that licked the ice cream cone. Like, oh. Come on, mom. What the fuck are you doing? Was it just dripping? Get your own ice cream. Was it drip, drip? Poor bitch. Drip, drip, drip. Sydney says her daughter recently handed her an ice cream cone and offered her a lick. Ah, oh, what a great How daughter. many licks to get to the center of that ice cream cone? <laughs> I have no idea. We're about to find out. Nice cultural reference to the Tootsie Pop there. And after Sydney licked it, remember that's the Whoa. mom, her daughter dropped a bomb. Well, gosh oh, dang it. Like an rhymed. F-bomb? No. Uh, apparently her daughter had taken the ice cream cone into the bathroom. And when it was time to wipe, instead of wiping with the hand holding the toilet paper, she wiped with the hand holding the ice cream cone. Uh, so she wiped her ass with ice cream? But Sydney's daughter told her, quote, it was just pee, mommy. I'm lost. Yeah. Well. What happened? How do you not drop the cone? I'm lost. She wiped her privates with the cone instead of with toilet paper. And then her mom licked it? Yeah. How does that happen? I don't know. I don't like that story. (laughs) The story is going viral now. Can we cut that part out? Uh, Mostly from parents who can relate. What? How can parents relate to this? These are horrible parents. How can anybody relate to this? Horrible parents. I mean... They must all be from fucking Georgia or some shit. uh, Oh. They don't relate to that scenario specifically, but sharing why they never eat foods their kids give them. Hmm. (laughs) <laughs> All right, this okay. Like you're not gonna that. like this one either. Oh fuck! This one's probably gonna make you mad. Okay, uh, I'm ready. All right, so there's a 23 year old woman named Casey. Oh my god, I'm angry. <laughs> and her 27 year old husband Jeffrey. Oh, I hate that name. You know this is an issue because it's spelled G E O F F. Geoffrey. Yeah, fuck that guy. From Pennsylvania, apparently wanted his scams. Pitchback, pitchback, pitchback. Scam some gifts and money out of their family and friends. So back in May, they faked a pregnancy and held a baby shower. Ah. Then in July, they faked the baby's birth. Oh. How did they do that? They used a realistic looking baby doll. Look up. Uh, oh, look, I, I saw the picture. Look up baby Britain. No, I saw the picture. Okay. It does look pretty fucking real. And they're creepy as shit. Yeah, it is. Uh, and then it took a dark turn, and they faked the baby's death. Wow. 
Yeah. That is pretty dark all This around. is all fucked up. I they said think... he died after five hours and even ran an obituary for him. After that, their friends started a GoFundMe to raise money for the funeral. Oh, my God. Raised $550 with some cheap-ass friends. Yeah, who the fuck are you hanging out Do with? Do you know how much a funeral costs? Jesus. A lot more than that. Probably like... That's not even enough to cover the 10, headstone. 20, 20 times that. Finally, after all that, one of their friends got suspicious. It was all fake and called the cops. What would make you suspicious? How did people not realize that over the course of nine months, ten months? Yeah, seriously. That she wasn't pregnant? Oh, you're not even showing. She's just like a really skinny pregnant girl. Maybe. You know what else off of that? Like, or maybe she's just really fat. How does somebody show? think that they have a kidney stone, not think that they're pregnant, and then have three fucking kids? Fat girl. How does that happen? I have that story. You do have that story. I was going to get to We were going to get to it on post show talk, okay. so that's okay. Whatever. I just summed it up. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess we'll see. You just that saved, one. I, I saved a tree, even though you already printed it. Uh, I don't get that. I don't get it. Yeah, seriously. Uh, she had no idea she was pregnant as she did not feel any movement or experience any morning sickness during her pregnancy. She says that she started to get really bad pains in her back Poof. and side. Oh. And thought for sure they were kidney stones. She eventually was rushed to the hospital because she thought the stones needed to be broken up. Instead, she told the she was told by the doctors that she was f- thirty four weeks pregnant. Jesus Christ! Wow. And the surprises didn't stop there, as they originally thought she was going to have twins, but turns out there was a third baby making its way out. They were born within four minutes of each other and each weighed around four pounds. Those are some big-ass fucking kidney stones. Jesus. Uh, Danette and her husband, Austin, had two girls and a boy, and they named them Blaze. Really? Yeah. Wow. Gypsy and Nikki. Those last two are going to be strippers. Uh, And the first one's going to be a fucking pimp. Hells yeah, he's gonna be their pimp. I don't, I don't, I honestly, I just don't get how that happened. Pimp's I'm, hands obviously. strong in that one. No, yeah, kid never had stones. a kid, but, but she felt no moving. She had no morning sickness, <sighs> but you have triplets inside you. Yeah, and four pounds—that's four, eight, twelve pounds. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't either. I want to fight this woman. <laughs> uh, oh, back to the other story where they faked the pregnancy, birth, and death of their kid. Uh. Um, one of their friends got suspicious and just goodness suspicious. gracious, suspicious <laughs> that it was all fake and called the cops. And after an investigation, the cops figured out that the Langs had faked the entire thing. I'm sure that investigation was really long when they went to the hospital. Was this person here? Uh, no. Okay, <laughs> thank you. That's They've all we needed. Both been charged with two counts of misdemeanor theft and one count of re- receiving stolen property. That's hmm. that money. $550 that their friends kind of forked over for that poor baby's funeral. Bitches be shopping. <sighs> Brett, do you want to know why a woman torched a guy's house? Because I do. I'd love to, Ben. Please tell me. There's a 29-year-old woman from Ooh, Woodbury, what's her name? New Jersey. What's her number? I need her phone number. Marcus! Bring me the gravy! Mm. Uh, and a few weeks ago, a guy invited her over for a booty call around 4 a.m. I'm going to tap that ass, bitch. <laughs> but when she got to his house, he'd fallen asleep. And he wee, 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 wee. And he didn't wake up when she banged on the door repeatedly. Bang, bang, bitch. Called and texted from him or from outside. This sounds like you trying to get a hold of me when Hello? you get here to record the podcast. Hello. And that made her so upset, she went to a gas station nearby, bought lighter fluid and matches, then went back to his house and set his door on fire. <laughs> to her credit, that wow. did wake him up. He wound up jumping out of a window. <laughs> To escape, um, but had to go to the hospital with burns and smoke inhalation. Firefighters. <laughs> I thought that was a fake laugh. Seriously? But I looked over at you. you almost, that was almost a spit take. It was almost one. <laughs> Firefighters. Uh, that's not safe, Ben. Firefighters also had to bust into the house to save his Busting dog. Busting nut. Woof, woof. Hey, dog, how's it going? 
Not good. Uh, I'm kind of burning up in here. It's hot as a motherfucker. Uh, all right. You ready to get Did out of here? Did you do this one? That's for Paul Show. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's do it. It's been fun. It's been real. <laughs> My mama, ma. But I'm it at, hasn't been real fun because uh, no. it's our podcast. Yeah. I'm at the Brett Hayes. Sorry. I'm at the Ben Glaze. I've managed to get zero followers from this podcast. So. <laughs> Same here. I'm actually losing followers. Yeah. Uh, this Sunday, Sunday Night Funnies, Spectrum Entertainment Complex, 8 o'clock. <sighs> I'll be there, guys. I doubt it. No, I won't be no, there. No, you're going to be out of town camping. I'm going to be camping. On shrooms. Right. Uh, You know what you will be? What, man? Ripping balls out of my mind. Ripping balls out of my mind. And you'll probably be doing this. Masturbate. Oh, fuck yeah. So, in a lake. With some dudes. Oh, I'm going to be masturbating my friends. Hey, I've done that before. I know you have been. All right. See you later, Mom. Bye, Mom. Oh, bye, fuckers. <laughs>